Hello everyone and welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about Power Automate automations. Here, we'll walk you through how we can split PDF exactly half of the file counting the page number. We'll take input from the user and based on that, this automations or the automations which we are going to build will divide the piece exactly half of it. So please be available from start to end of this video so that you'll be able to understand from scratch. If you want to learn more about Power Automate and their automations, please follow my Power Automate playlist. I already created more than 50 video which will help you to gain insight or start your journey into Power Automate. Now, to build this flow, we will go ahead with the scratch from here. I will just write PDF split. This will take few seconds to navigate to us on editor mode. From there, we will build the complete flow. So idea of building, we are going to take input from the end user to add the page number or to add from which page to which page will divide or how many partitions will make it. So here post will display custom form and within this custom form we will create custom form design. So first we'll keep your text block this one will add this for the user input here we exactly keep theme text block and here we'll add the user input so that user input will give page number after that we'll drag and drop the file input and this file input is having some id we'll select this file input from the folder and this file input will be taken care during our automations. After that, we'll add number. So how many pages we want to add and the ID will be exactly same, which we are going to use here. Next options, I wanted to add as a button. So instead of submit, we'll just add split so that we'll have this and we'll click on done. So now our form is designed based on that we will get input from the end user and here if you want we can run this flow as well. So from this sections it will pop up a window where we have to select the file and from there we'll add the page number how many pages you want and click on OK. So either you can add OK or instead of OK we can add the split tab. So here let me add instead of OK we'll add here split. We don't want OK title. Now next options I wanted to add if condition. So here we'll save this. After that we'll drag and drop if. So during this if operations what we'll add here. So whenever the button will be pressed, so here we have added button pressed, you can see as a variable. So I will add exactly same thing. So whenever the button will be pressed, split, then this if conditions will be routed. After that, we'll drag and drop get file. So this will get the complete file. We'll drag and drop get file path and this get file path will have detail statement. So get file part here will define custom form data which is the variable which we are using from this one and custom form data then after that we'll add file input. So within the square bracket we'll add file input save next options will set the variable so 
here we'll use three set variable set variable here in first set variable will specify the directory so in this case let me add directory informations which is generated from the previous step after that we'll add forward slash and then file name no extensions we'll again add file name no extensions these are the variable generated from the previous step hyphen one dot edf so this will set the variable of first and this variable name will define as file name one so here this is file name one click on save and you can see whenever we are taking get file path part it will auto generate five variable that will utilize it in different places right root path directory file name file name no extensions and file extensions click on save again i will drag and drop one more set variable and we'll click this and there's one more so here we'll set variable for all those next variable name i wanted to keep here as n so this one i want this variable name to be placed as n small n and here we'll again use custom form data and this will specify number input or this will store number input from display custom form input single column and then that's done you can save and next options for this set variable i want to keep this for file name 2 so here we'll keep this for file name 2 2 and this will contain custom form data not this one this will store from directory or slash then next one will be file named no extensions and after that i want to specify two dot pdf now that's done all these errors are resolved after that i want to run subflow so here i will just add the subflow so the subflow name will be maybe count pound number of pages Page. so this subflow will create after this let me keep as it is and here we'll just drag and drop run subflow so run subflow will help us to run uh, this count number pages in this subflow we'll select this and that's done after that again i want to add if condition so here if conditions will help us to count the number so now i will just drag and drop and here let's keep as it is and build this flow first so that we'll use their variable here this subflow will start with setting of variable so let me set the variable first set variable and here i will just drag and drop and this variable will still count so i will just specify variable as count and will enter zero value now let's save this after that i want to add loop condition within this loop conditions i will have to just specify boolean so here first i will add true and exactly true if this matches then only this will proceed further and next actions i wanted to perform extract extract pdf file pages into new pdf file so here i want to add pdf file so that pdf file will be custom form data file input as the first one so we code and then this is closed page selections i want to increase from count plus one not completed at so count plus one now extract pdf file path so this i wanted to give as directory within this directory 
I want to add backward slash temp PDF from a desktop flow. Temp PDF from desktop flow. Now this will store all those informations extracted PDF. I want to keep this file accessed, add sequential suffix, and that's it from this one. And next activity, I wanted to add delete files. So here we'll add delete files. And within this, I will specify just extracted PDF. This part is also done. And here I want to increase variable. So increase by one, I wanted to add so that it will check for all those page count. I will specify as count, count as variable and increase by one. Click on save and that's it. If you want to add end of level and all, we can add it. Otherwise, let's move it to previous flow and in this flow here because we have added count over there so in this sections i want to specify the count and equal to not equal to will specify greater than one now that is done after that i want to extract pdf file pages to new pdf file so here i will just add extract PDF file to new pages and I want twice this activity want this twice so we'll keep this and start editing into it so PDF file I wanted to keep here as custom form data here will specify custom form data as file input file input in single quotes and this is done page selections will be one minus n the variable which we have created this one and extracted file part is video file part is file name one so this is done and that will be stored into extracted pdf2 exactly similar way we will also set it up for this one so this will contain custom form data again file input single code and page selections i wanted to specify n plus one and then minus count minus count extracted pdf will specify file in two select file in two and this will store into extracted pdf three so this is done next actions i want add else so these two pdf will have the file name in one and two after this i wanted to add as else so here we'll add else if conditions after this this will run and within this else if condition we'll specify n plus one equal to count if this matches then this will enter into this and this will perform extract video page in new so again we'll add two of this activity these two activity i want to add here again after this and again we'll modify the code so first line will be same but here so these two conditions will be same and after that we'll add display message at the end of the loop here we'll add display message and this display message whichever informations you want we can add it because what whatever informations we'll select that will be specified so here the output we we can just call it out file completed and within this maybe we, we can save the file path which we have created so the path if you want to specify will just select directory and then forward slash file name no extensions file name no extensions hyphen one one dot pdf same thing will again copy and paste for the second one so these two file path will be printed yeah that's it let me save it and run this flow and we'll see result now here we'll select the PDF file which we want to split it out 
let me select this one and i want to split in two parts why it's showing this error because i think here this file input may be in lowercase yes so whenever i have specified file input in uppercase all those file will throw me an error so let me make the changes and after that we'll run it again so not here but yes specified in this so i will be in lowercase or uh, if i have changed the variable name that would also work but now we have made the changes in many of those activities so let me fix this first and then we'll run it again same thing might be appear for other uh designer form but still now it's doable so let's see if this available here at now that's done let me run this flow and see the result again this will pop up to select any video file i want to split exactly in two parts let's split this and this will run this flow and page out of bounds page number three does not exist that's the reason it's showing an error because we did not handle the exceptions so let's go and see if it is divided or not or split it or not as of now we can see there's no split done let's select any other file so here even we can add label as a end of loop and that label we will specify it now let me run this flow and see the results so here we got split pdf by half here we'll select this file and we'll split now you can see this is executed successfully and we have both the files are available in this folder wherever we have selected now you can see this file is divided into two parts so that's how we can split any video based on the user selections using microsoft power automate which is a powerful tool for any process automations that's all from this video hope you enjoyed the content if you think so this will be useful don't forget to share with your circle thank you for watching